Hey, what's going on everyone? Axel here. I wanted to make just a quick off the cuff video about the new raid Killing Time. I'm going to talk about it a little bit and I wanted to give my first impressions. So going to be some spoilers in here. So if you haven't run, run the raid yet, you might want to watch this video after you run the raid because I'm going to talk about it quite a bit. Uh, so the reason I'm making this video is because I had such a such a weird reaction to this raid. It was so strange when I played it because uh, for those of you, of you who have run it, uh, you'd know that this raid is almost it's 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 not even really new content. It's like you go into the raid and basically you're on the chronoscope map, and it's the whole raid is a mixture of. Uh, kind of a, an arena style fight like a shroud type fight against a, a dragon and in between each dragon fight and I think you'd fight the dragon three times and um, th my uh, <laughs> I might be a little off on, on some of this because I've only run the raid one time so this is my initial reaction but you have kind of like three dragon fights uh, kind of in this arena sort of like the shroud kind of uh, the shroud sort of shape like a circle shape and you're not on the shroud map you're on a chronoscope like map but it's it's kind of in a a circle shape arena type fight, and then in between each of us, say like three or four uh, dragon fights, which are fairly standard, you uh, f go into quests like uh, older quests, so you don't go into new content. Uh, I think in one part, I think the first part we went into was uh, Von Three. Uh, I didn't go into that part, but I think you go into Wiz King at one point, uh, and then you have a couple of older boss fights after you go through Vaughn 3, just the end part of Vaughn 3. Uh, you go into Lord of Blades and then you go into no, you go into Tower of Despair first and then you go into Lord of Blades and it's so strange that they would make a quest, a raid like this that's just a culmination of other raids and I see probably what they're going for here with doing this in that uh, you get to you get to fight some of the cooler, older raids that are never run anymore, like Lord of Blades and Tower of Despair. No one runs those anymore because all the raid loot's outdated. There's no reason to run it, but these are some raids that are some of the most popular ones in the past. Uh, people really like those raids, I think. It's just the, the loot um, just is not... They're never run anymore just because of the loot. So this is a way for us to replay those old raids, um, but at the same time, I was like, wow, this is kind of like they're really rehashing content here. And I don't know if I like that. Um, not to crap on the raid too much, but I was like, wow, really? And I, I understand that this is kind of a bonus raid in a sense because they added it to the Dragon Blood pack from update 35. So it's sort of free. So I can't really criticize it that much on that basis because it's 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 a pseudo free raid uh, but it's just so strange to me that they would rehash the content like that and I think uh, my other impression was does this mean that we're never gonna get like a, a level 30 legendary version of uh, these raids like Lord of Blades and Tower Despair uh, because I think that's one thing some uh, one thing a lot of players really wanted was to see Lord of Blades and Tower Despair remade like new Todd rings uh, that that are legendary rings and maybe new Todd ring belt sets um, new, maybe bring the Lord of Blades loot up and make it I don't know if you want to make that level cap gear we just maybe make it more relevant maybe make some kind of uh, epic version of uh, the alchemical crafting to make it so maybe you could use it for like legendary alchemical to make it 20 to 30 or something like that like some some way to to make the raid remake the raid and put it at level 30 and and uh, you know give us a reason to run it again and make a legendary version because I think everyone would like to see these raids like chronoscope and uh, the, the ones I've already mentioned brought up to level 30 and that's probably granted that's probably not something they're ever going to do anyways but it's kind of sad to see this because I think now they're definitely not going to do it because basically they gave us the the most important part of these raids the in fights uh, just uh, right here in this raid so it's kind of disappointing on that aspect on the positive I know I'm kind of um, crit criticizing it a lot on the positive it is cool to be able to play these raid boss fights again and I think it would have been even cooler if they put in a maybe a, a couple more 
or that one might have made the raid kind of long. Maybe just cut out the chronoscope part and the dragon part. If they really wanted to kind of give us a nostalgia trip and just have us play a series of maybe like three or four boss fights from older raids that are not level cap and just have them randomized. So, uh, you know, maybe mix um, Demon Queen in there. I'm not sure if Demon Queen, I think... I'm not sure if it was Demon Queen 1 or Demon Queen 2 that was in this raid. Someone mentioned it, but I wasn't playing. I wasn't actually playing that part of the content. I think we had like a few people solo it while the rest of the group stayed behind. When I ran it, my one my first completion. I'll see later on when I run it again if if that content is in there. But I just wanted to to give my first impressions and and give my uh, see what other people thought actually because I have such mixed feelings with this because it was cool to get the nostalgia trip of these older raids that no one ever runs anymore like I haven't run Lord of Blades in forever like it has been years since I've run Lord of Blades so tonight was the first time I'd ever I've run it in years so that was really cool to see Lord of Blades again I forgot actually how awesome that raid really that raid infight really is it's really cool same with Tower of Despair I haven't run that in probably a couple years so it was it, it's a really weird mix of feelings because I got the nostalgia trip but at the same time it's kind of disappointing because I think this kind of closes the door on them um, actually bringing the raise up to level 30 which is something that they probably weren't ever going to do but it was kind of I was kind of hoping for it and I think a lot of other people were too and I'm, I'm still and I'm still slightly disappointed in the sense that they kind of just rehashed old content so I have a real mix of feelings here like the nostalgia trip but didn't like uh, other aspects of it so I, you know, guys, I wanted to see what everyone else thought. So please comment. Let me know what you thought of this. That's just my first reaction. I'm, I'm really interested in what the community thinks of this because I think this raid is going to, I think it's going to generate some buzz. I'm not sure if it's going to be a raid that's going to be played a lot because uh, looking at the loot, I think there's a couple nice pieces, but I didn't see anything in there that kind of struck me as a must-have for people. I think there's a few pieces that some some builds. Uh, will like, but I think there's certainly going to be a lot of builds that's really seen nothing they want in this raid. Although I think the runes in the raid do function to upgrade the White Plume Mountain weapons, I believe, like Black Razor and stuff. I think it upgrades those. Someone check me if I'm wrong on that. Uh, but yeah, I just honestly, please post your comments and let me know what you thought of the raid. If you've run it yet, I really am interested in what the community thinks about this because I can I can definitely see it generating some some differing opinions. Hey guys, that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.